Hello and welcome to a new series here on the channel and for this one I'm doing something that I haven't really done before I'm really excited and I hope you guys will be too I'm not in a single player world as you can probably tell by the surroundings I am indeed on a server called Divine Woods the IP is right there to the right I will also leave the IP down in the description anyone can join and yeah the IP will definitely be down in the description down below it is really a cool server and the owner was so kind to invite me to play on it this place is amazing and I'm amazed at what they have actually been able to do like okay so this is vanilla minecraft right this is vanilla this is a vanilla server you can join um with versions 1.8 all the way up to 1.15 but what is really cool and what really caught my attention normally when you hear about multi-block machines you are talking modded minecraft not on this server this is a vanilla minecraft server and they have multi-block machines yes machines i can't believe it either like, look, look in here, basic machines, all of these, to my understanding, are machines, multi-block machines, and the reason for that is, look at this, multi-block, built in the world, and this is how you build it, to get an enhanced crafting table. Like, oh, they have a wiki. Ooh, definitely go ahead and check that out, that's cool. Um, I did not know that wiki was there, that'll be useful. Th this server is just amazing and I can't wait to play on here and I really hope that you guys will enjoy this series also I am turning this into a little bit of a community thing um, if you guys do wish to join and wish to get even more involved there are something that you can do if you join the SMP it is an SMP server side by the way SMP quote-unquote I'm gonna call it because I feel like it is a mix of SMP and maybe RPG I'm not entirely sure but before we continue and look into a bunch of this stuff up here, which I will cover some of it, uh, if you do slash binary, you will get teleported in five seconds. And by the way, this kit that I have on me right now, the gear that I have on me right now, a bunch of it I got from just joining the server, except for the diamond block. Uh, I got that from voting um, and some of you, these few things here, but you get a bunch of this, the armor and the tools and such. Uh, upon joining the server um, but if you do slash binary you get to this spot right here and you guys can build here you guys can build here this area including the beacon all the way over to the area claimed uh, or bleh, 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 bordered in by the blue wool is already claimed just to keep this place nice and beautiful but you guys outside of this claimed area can in fact claim new area by using the slash claim command you can watch the claiming tutorial and get the claim tool you can claim a little area and start building and i think it would be really really cool if we could get like a small community jungle town going on here like this is a jungle biome and just look at the trees again this is not modded minecraft and these are not vanilla trees <laughs> but yeah if we could get a um a community going a small community jungle town that would be really cool. Obviously, we will need to uh, do some terraforming and stuff. But, like, I'm thinking jungle trees. Well, sorry, tree houses in the jungle trees. I mean, that's what I'm potentially going to do with my tree over there. So, I think if you guys want to jo come join and play and come here and build, that would be pretty cool. And, yeah, we could have, like, a little community thing going on. And we can see the progress in episode 2. So, if you're interested... Do go ahead and check out the IP down below in the description and go ahead and join. Now, time for a bit, of, a little bit more details before we get into actually surviving. Because believe it or not, I need to survive. And hostile mobs do spawn. I was attacked by a mob uh, earlier and um, yeah, nearly died. But anyways, let's head back in fact to the hub because I just want to show you that this is where you spawn right here once you join the server. That's a bunch of text. Uh, to let the server right click in the compass, our, their website, their Discord, their Twitter, the server IP, all cool stuff. Go into the server selection, and here we have the SMP. No other servers currently. But if we join the SMP right here, then you are going to spawn, and then you'll come in right here, and you'll get your default uh, kit upon joining. You can get daily rewards, and you can also buy ranks on their online shop. And there's tutorial inf info and there is a bunch. Now, I've already done a bunch of research. There are a couple of things that's going to help you. We have the advanced item guide, which is really cool. Shows recipes and stuff like that. 
And we also have, well, you saw the wiki at the beginning. And there is also, we are going to take this one, an SMP tutorial. I'm going to take that before starting. Um, but yeah, you can see a bunch of the stuff over there. So that is really cool. Also jobs. You can get a job, but before we do anything else, I actually want to show you the what I like to call the plaza. I don't know if it's called the plaza, but I want to call it the plaza because you can access a bunch of stuff with commands, but if you want to access it in person, you can go down here. Crates, vote. That is where I opened my vote key that I got for voting. We got the market and we got the auctions and that is player auctions, by the way. So that is other people selling other things. Uh, if we have something like here, kitten uh, 5973 is selling some slime boots that has a bunch of cool stuff for $10,000. That's pretty cool. In game money. In game money. We also have NPC shop. This is, these are not player shops. These are shops that you can go ahead and buy stuff and you can also sell stuff. So that is pretty cool. We also have the job section over there and we also have a bar. And we have crates. Votes, I think I already said that. But anyways, if we go into the jobs, join a job to earn money. Use money to purchase in-game items. Money can be used to trade with others. Use slash jobs or right click one of the NPCs. You can view your balance with slash balance, all right? My balance is 100. Now, my, I already have a job. I chose minor. I chose minor uh, because, okay. Interesting. <laughs> the, let me actually go into the slash jobs here. And you can see the miner get paid for mining blocks and placing blocks. And I'm going to be placing a bunch of blocks and I'm also going to be mining a bunch of blocks. So I think that is suiting. But there is a lot of stuff like woodcutter right here. Get paid for chopping wood and growing plants. Enchanter, enchanting items. Hunter, killing mobs and players, taming animals. And that is another thing that I'm not sure if I'm comfortable uh, sharing. But I guess I should go ahead and do it. There is a bouncing bounty system. Um, bounty hunter right here. Apparently you can set a bounty on other people's heads. Um, kill him to claim the bounty. Yeah. So that's interesting. You can become a bounty hunter. I might want to become a bounty hunter, but don't you dare. I'm looking at you right now. If you're thinking of joining the server. Don't you dare put a bounty on my head or I'll hunt you down. Anyways, uh, so yeah, that is really cool. I hope I've not forgotten anything. If I have, we'll cover it when the time comes. I think that is everything. Let's just get to the SMP tutorial because I have actually not watched the SMP tutorial yet. So how about we go ahead and uh, do that real quick. SMP tutorial, right click. Welcome to the Vine Woods. Enjoy the tour of the SMP. Thank you. I certainly will. Divine Woods is a survival server that features many unique, unique RPG things. Select your kingdom. Type slash kingdom after the tutorial is done. Yeah, that is something you can actually do uh, as well. Earn money with jobs. Do tasks, earn money, and level up. Really cool. Purchase items at the shop. Le learn to make your own place shop. That is something you can do as well. That I have not researched, and nor do I know how to to make it dive into advanced features with machines and custom crafting like i said that is really cool fight spectacular bosses once you have the appropriate gear there's also a storyline on the server um there's much more to explore on your own good luck there's also wait enjoy the divine words experience and join our discord nice can i go now can i go resource world and rt P? Random teleportation. Yes, random teleportation. Uh, so this guy, by the way, if you're starting and do not wish to join my slash binary, sniff, then you can teleport to a random location in the world and, well, start building and claiming some area and do your own stuff. There's also a resource world that you can hop onto and collect resources, which is also really cool. But as I was saying, there is also a storyline. I'm not 100% sure how it works, but there is a storyline. You can also go into slash warp and we have some areas. Uh, we have the four kingdoms, then we have the nether and we have the end, and we have some more, uh, some other ones as well, like uh, crates, bone dungeon, uh, resource world, 
some events it looks like. But also, if you look here, storyline 2, storyline 4, storyline 3. So that is interesting. So there's apparently a storyline, so that's cool. There's also a machine tutorial, a claiming tutorial. Uh, we will do the machine tutorial in due time. But first, I think I need to get myself sorted, because look at me. I have damaged armor, I have barely any food, and my stone tools are already hurting. So I think I need to uh, do what you should do, do a slash binary to get to the area. It is also, the sun is apparently going down, so that is not cool. But, oh dear, it's night time. I want, um, kind of want to start a mine, but I'm thinking we could do like a public mine. I'm thinking uh, if we do this into a community area, Having a community mine would be pretty cool. But yeah, I want to start mining because I need some, I need money to get blocks for what I want to make as a treehouse. I want to make a treehouse, ow. But it looks like that I have some very angry neighbors around here. Hopefully other people won't be as angry. Okay. Are you kidding me? Okay. Looks like I'm just going to be fighting through this. I'm thinking starting a mine right here, maybe, going down to bedrock. Then other people can use it as well. How does that sound? I need to get some coal, I need to get some resources. I need stuff badly. So I think I'm just going to start mining and getting some stuff. Oh, I'm getting something. I'm getting some money. Rank up, you're now a rank rookie. You've played for an hour, you have been promoted to rookie. Use playtime to view your perks. My perks. Playtime. Playtime, play to view your per current playtime. Earnable ranks. About earnable ranks. Oh dear. Okay. Earnable ranks. Ooh, rookies. Rookie. Uh, amateur. I'll give 500. That's for three hours playtime. Okay. Let's uh, let's keep let's keep going, shall we? I am hoping to find some coal. I could buy some, but oh, I have four hundred dollars now. You know what? I might just go into the shop, go into minerals, coal. If I buy ten, that's gonna that's gonna be thirty. Nope, that was a lot more. Ah, uh, that was a lot more. Wasn't that thirty? Nope, that was. That, that was 30 for one. Ah, I'm such an idiot. I just wasted a lot of money. <sighs> I just wasted a lot of money there. <laughs> for a few torches. Okay, well. Uh, learn from your mis mistakes, I suppose, right? Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's, um, sure. That's fine. This is fine. Yeah, completely fine. What are you talking about? This is mm -hmm. completely fine. Sure thing. I'm now a level two miner. Good. I need to, I need to make that money back. <laughs> I can't believe I spent $330 for 11 coal. <sighs> well, I'm going to be mining for a bit to get the, to get to Y level 10 or something. Lowest live wide level that I can get so that we can uh, need to get some iron stuff and okay well if coal is that expensive how expensive would jungle would be? Oh that's only 2.5 that should be doable. Wait how do I have how do I have this? Copper dust, gold dust, iron dust, lead dust? Huh okay I'm not sure how I got that. For mining the coal? What do I use the gold dust for? Gold dust or crusher. That's how I get gold dust, but how can I use it? Okay, this I am going to look at the wiki. Alright, so I can use those in a smeltery, which is a multi-block structure, so that's cool. So that is a reason to get multi-block stuff. I want those say stuff. <laughs> but still not dust. I'm getting a lot of stuff from mining coal, apparently. Okay, this is gonna take a while.
Alright, found the first iron here, finally. Let's throw the diorite away. What's that? Magnesium. Uh, throw the normal gunpowder, I suppose? I need a chest. I really do need a chest. <laughs> but finally, we got some iron. That means we could get some upgrades. We could get some tools. Well, I could get an iron, iron pickaxe for one. And I can get... Well, some... Well, the armor will do for now, but I definitely need an iron pickaxe, maybe an iron sword or an axe, something like it. But yeah, I'm gonna keep going down to those Y level I can get to, I think. I have stumbled upon an abandoned mine shaft. That is cool. Well then, what can we find down here of interest? Got some more iron over here, that's cool. A feature that I also like, the item drops instantly into your inventory. So you can mine it from afar without having to worry about things dropping and potentially other people stealing it. I like that. I like that a lot. Now, do we have maybe an abandoned mine chest down here? Or something? Because that would be cool. I also found a cave here. Who knows, maybe that leads down further. There's some zombies. This hole looks like it goes pretty deep. I'm gonna go down. We can always teleport back up, so that is cool. I believe there's also a set home command. So that is very nice. Accidentally to Envoy Frozen has started. Okay, that's cool. Not sure whether that's at. We're at wild level 15 though. Have not seen any gold. And of course, I forgot the direction I was mining in. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, my sword broke. I'm out of food. I think it is about time that we maybe head home. Or head back up anyway. There's a skeleton. Yeah, because I'm not gonna last much longer down here. Oh dear. Nope. Hey, I've been here though. I've been here. There's a spawner down there. Eek. Creepy sounds. This seems. Pretty much like a dead end, so I do want to explore it. All right, we've got to teleport back up, and I'm going to get to smelting. Oh, it's nighttime. I'm not going to last a second out here whatsoever. Uh, can I drop something real quick? Maybe the rotten flesh. Maybe can I sell the rotten flesh? Slash shop. Can I potentially sell the rotten flesh for anything? Uh, can I sell all? I got five dollars out of that. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm thinking of cutting down a few trees over here because I don't want to chop down my own tree. I'm gonna start chopping, I think, this one. Finally, it is daytime, just in time for me to finish chopping this tree. I think I got everything, so the leaves should decay now. So that is awesome. I could just have bought the wood, but I kind of want to save my money for other things. So, yeah. Also, this tree goes down deep. I guess that's the roots <laughs> spreading out. Make That makes sense. All right, so I kind of want to start building the house now. And I think, well, we got to start with a staircase. So I think I'm going to need a lot of stairs. Boom. I also think that I'm going to need a bunch of slabs. Maybe just a stack to begin with. That should be good. Uh, just slowly making some iron armor as we go as well. And some equipment and such. So we can get this leather armor out of the way. And be prepared. 
I also have the diamond block here that I can convert into uh, normal diamond, so I can actually get a diamond sword, a champion table, and also a diamond pickaxe. So that is going to be cool. I'll have to do some uh, off-camera work. But anyways, I'm thinking starting the staircase here, and then wrapping it up, going up to there. Now, I do believe that I want kind of the base to be right there at that block. So I kind of need to start the staircase out here. Maybe if I go up, over and up, I'll have to start the staircase at like here, I think. But I mean, that's fine, right? So I'm gonna put it like so, I think. Is that right here? Yeah, I think that'll work. I'm gonna use dirt to scaffold like so. I think I want the base to be right here on this very wood. So actually, if I maybe just take this back and we just start going straight up, how about that? And I think that'll do the trick. We can have multiple, multiple floors here. Yeah, I think I'm happy with this staircase. And then leading down here. I think I like that. But yeah, I think this right here is looking good. Just need to expand with some more flooring here. Alright, so here right here is the border to my area. So I'm going to put it like so. And get that in there. Nice. And of course, get some torches up here so we don't have any evil things spawning here. That would be the worst. Alright, well, guess I need to work on a little bit of a door frame, don't I? I think this is going to do for me for the time being. I think I might just add a quick little maybe window frame or something. Something like that. I don't know. I think this looks pretty cool and of course the tree is not decaying so that's wonderful. I have some windows out there. I might just really quickly take a look in this shop. Uh, color blocks decoration maybe? Next page. No, not here. Uh, blocks. I basically want glass. So maybe colored blocks? As in colored glass? I think some lime stained glass would look pretty good. Hmm. I think I want six of these so I can get some paints. So that is gonna be. How much? $12 only. That's not bad at all. All right, I'm going to make that. Hmm. How's that look? Yeah, no. Maybe that. Uh, maybe that. Yeah, sure. I don't know. I feel like that might be a good touch. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Anyways, I think that is going to do it for the first episode here on Divine Words. I really want to get into some of this uh, machinery stuff. Um, so we will potentially look at that in the next episode. But definitely check the server out down below in the description. The IP will be there. And of course, if you wish to come join me, do go ahead and use slash binary and you will get teleported to the spot and... Well, you guys can, uh, we can, we can start a little community here. I think that would be pretty, 
Cool. Now real, real, real quick. I know that I need the smeltery. Can I unlock it? Grindstone, armor forge, ore crusher, compressor, smeltery. Click to unlock. We're going to do that in the next episode. I'm going to take a look at some of this uh, machinery stuff. I think it's going to be pretty cool. But anyways, I really, really hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you on here. I think that would be really cool to get some um, community stuff going on. But yeah, that's going to be it. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. So what stuff down below in the description. Come join. It'll be fun. Goodbye. <laughs> Ding, 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 nah.